<laughs> Guys, Gary Crawford here. Nova Rabbit Gaming. Check it. Check it out. I got super lucky today, and I found something at the Walmart shelves that I didn't think I was going to find. And in all honesty, I'm glad I did, because online these things are like 20 to 25 bucks, even in some cases 30 bucks a pop. And we got these, we got these bad boys for $14 MSRP. Maybe not exactly like 14 it's probably like, you know, with tax it's maybe like 15 something. But that's besides the point. We got five of them. I'm gonna try and pull a ghosty ghost out of all of these. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh products are usually a hit or miss for me. I won't lie. You either have a really good set that has a bunch of good cards in it, or you have sets like these uh, that have lots of good reprints and lots of good, uh, oh, what's it called? Lots of good uh, like chase cards, for instance. Um, this set has what's called, gosh, man, they made this ridiculous to get, I just want to open packs. Oh, no, I don't want to ruin the box, because the box is pretty. Uh, so anyway, the chase cards out of this are ghost rares. Now, if you aren't familiar with what a ghost rare is in Yu-Gi-Oh, a ghost rare is a holographic card that, um, kind of has this look on it. Like, it's got, like, the, uh, how do I put it? Uh, the really glossy uh, texture or look I should say and then like when you move it it kind of refracts so you can like you can see the the picture of the uh, card go in and out of the frame which is super nice uh, so each one of these has three little packs inside uh, containing five cards and each one of them uh, could possibly have a ghosty ghost in there so we're just gonna crack right into these. <sighs> if there's one thing with cards, Yu-Gi-Oh probably has the best smelling cards. I just have to say that before I angle the camera down, and then you guys start to look at these fresh, freshly, uh, freshly opened packs. Let me get that down real quick. Bam! And here we go, guys. Let me get this situated just a little bit. Maybe dim the light just a tad bit. Like I said, I'm still practicing with this stuff, guys, so be nice to me for sure. Okay, so we got a Splash Mage, Metal Foes Silvered, Silvered, S Silvered, Silvered, Seed Sun Shadow, Dragoonity Draft, and then an Arm Dragon Level 10. Nice. I liked Arm Dragon Level 10. He was a uh, super iconic card in the TV show. Uh, I think he was used by Chaz Princeton. Uh, ooh, I'm, guys, I'm like super hype. The, uh, Heretics was one of my favorite decks playing uh, during the XYZ format um, when it first started out. And Heretics, uh, like, I, I'm going to probably set this bad boy side because I, I really do want to make Heretics again. Photon Thrasher, that's a good reprint. Lots of Metaphos reprints in here. Ooh, evenly matched, dude. Dang. Dang, bro. What a banger. The, this one card right here uh, just paid for the entire... This 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 box, anyway. This individual box. So that's not a bad hit at all. I will take that all day. All right. We got a Metaphos combination. Ojama Country. Medolce Fresh Sistart, Mass Change 2, and the, oh my gosh, this was a good one. This was a good little box, super Red Supernova Dragon. Dang, man, that's a good box. Okay, okay. So that first one gave us uh, these two, and I'm going to probably sleeve up, sleeve up this Tefnuit just because I do want to eventually probably purchase all the... Um, uh, what's it called? All the singles for um, the rarities that they come in uh, out of this set. So I think they're all just ultras, uh, which is fine. But uh, I wouldn't mind getting like Heratics, uh, that that rarity bump. I thought it was so weird that the whole deck was just like commons forever. All right, let's get three more packs out of here. 
Set the box off to the side. Whoa! Set the box off to the side. Set it over there. Alright, guys. Wish me good luck here. I would really love to pull the D-Mock, or the D-Mock, the uh, Dark Magician, uh, but I do understand the pull rates out of this are crazy. Um, Starry Night Blast. Oh my gosh, he looks great. Yes. Time Thief uh, Rodeo. Oh, uh, Danger Thunderbird, that's a good one. And I don't know if that's actually a good one or not. I did like the Danger cards when I first looked at them. Uh, a lot of stuff, like, I, since, like, I've been out of the game for so long with Yu-Gi-Oh!, I kind of tend to find myself going back to past formats and, like, let's leave this up. Uh, I tend to find myself going back to past formats and, like, seeing what the meta was like. My gosh, I cannot get a sleeve. Uh, seeing what the meta was like during those formats, just so that way, like, you know, I don't know, I can have an idea of, like, what I missed out on. Dang, that's a good one. Phalanx, Mass Change. Royal Prison, Backup Secretary, and a Starry Knight Starry Dragon. What a name. <laughs> what a name. Okay, let's get into this last pack of this box. Metal Foe, Lavaval, Fairy Tales. And then a Heretic Seal of Creation. So this is a new card for them, I think. Target one Dragon XYZ monster you control. Special summon from your extra deck one Heretic XYZ monster with a different original name. By using that target as material. That's... That's decent. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Heretic monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position. Now that is great for, for Heretics all around. Uh, because they tend to go dead once the hand is depleted. So, like, if they have any type of way to special summon out extra combo pieces to further uh, make more XYZ plays and keep the loops going and stuff like that, it's really good for the deck. That's actually a really good card. Um, do I think Heratics could be, like, Tier 1? No. Dragon Link's Tier 1. Usually when there's a Dragon deck, man, there's, like, it's one Dragon deck, and that's it. Uh, there might be like different variations of it, but there's usually one. There isn't like, t there's never two separate. Man, these packs were like freaking jammed in here, dude. I hope these ones are good. Anyway, uh, this is the Dark Condition pack. But yeah, Heretics, yeah, they're not good this format. They, they won't be. Hey, pulled another one. Fusion, Mass Change, Medulce, and then Time Thief Adjuster. Interesting card. Okay, keep it going here. Uh, that last one didn't really pull too too much. Nothing nothing crazy. Um, so hopefully we can change that. Ooh, this thing's got factory lines like all up and down that. Dang man. Gear Town, Metaphos, Flame Vol, Heretic Seal of Supremacy. Shiny, shiny cardboard. Another Teff knew it with... Dude, do you guys see those? I know that's really hard to see. Hold on, I'm trying to get the light so that way you guys can see them. Maybe you can't. Oh, man. Those are rough. Hold on, man. I want you guys to see those. Those, those are really rough. Whoop, way too bright. Maybe not. You guys probably... Oh, maybe you can. See them like... Like right here. Oh man, they're all over that guy. Whew. And then a Sunvine Slasher. Dang, man, I hope I don't get like a ghost like that because th this is rough. Those are some real rough factory lines. That's sweet. We pulled two Tefnuits. Maybe we can pull a third one. Have a place that would be nice. Ooh, I'll take that. Sunvine Healer, Time Thief Flyback, Hero Zinru, Starry Night Ceremony. Alright, we got two of these bad boys left. Hopefully, hopefully we can come out with something, man. I, I mean, just, just something. I mean, I, we got, like, an evenly matched. It's not bad. Maybe, uh, maybe that new, uh, Dragoonity Tuner, or whatever it is, uh... He's getting a little bit of hype right now, uh, which I think is kind of interesting. 
um, that they just decided randomly to go back and give her addicts and pregnanity some, um, I don't know, I guess support. I thought that was, but that is, that is very weird. Um, especially since, like, Dragon Link's been just dominating. Time Thief Flyback. Heroes in Rue. Cosmojo. Sunseed Genuine Loci. Time Thief Adjuster. Okay. Just keep it moving, I guess. Um, I'm not going to lie, this might sound weird, but Pokemon packs compared to, po or sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh packs compared to Pokemon and Magic packs are like the easiest to open, man. Dragon, Shifa, Metaphos, Artifact Durandal, Miss Valley Rock, oh, okay, that's not a bad hit, it's like, it's a couple of dollars, right, man? Legatus, ooh, the artwork for him looks saucy. See, see, no factory lines on that guy. I wonder if that was just the last pack. Let's see on this, too. Yeah, no, there's tons of factory lines on these, man. Jeez. Yu-Gi-Oh, man. What's up with that print quality, bro? Huh? I don't think these two had anything wrong with them. No, they look super clean. Yeah, they're, they're really good. All right, let's pull something crazy. Metal Foes Counter. We got the Time Thief, Shunvine Shrine, Galaxy Cypher Dragon, and then a Starry Night Rael. So nothing out of this one. Alright guys, this is the last one. Hopefully we can pull something crazy out of here. I really hope we can get, hit a ghost. That'd be the bee's knees would make me happy. You never know. We might not hit it, though, and I'll be okay with that, honestly. Yu-Gi-Oh! is just fun to open for me. I only do it every once in a while. I'm really picky and choosy with what I op uh, invest my money into. Uh, not saying, like, any of this is to be, like, a return value or anything. Like, I'm, I'm simply collecting, and uh, that's really it. Um, so I'm not trying to, like, make a big, huge profit off, like, grading something like this. But I'm not going to lie. If I did pull one of the ghosts out of this and... You know, oh, that's a good reprint, Tinkin. Uh, since I'm not, uh, what is it? Oh, I can't think of it. I lost my memory, guys. Time Thief Hack. Heliopolis. And a Thrasher again. Okay. Uh, okay. Can we do it, man? I just want—I don't want to—I want to see one crazy hit. I mean, that first box was pretty a okay, but I want to see one crazy hit, man. Just one. Erratic Seal, Arc Brave Dragon. Lots of dragons in this. Metal Foes, Fog Blade, really good reprint. And then uh, this is Vampire Void Voivodo Voivode. All right, guys. Tell me what you think of this set so far. Ghosts from the past. Have you guys been able to open any? Have you guys even been able to find any? Um, if you have, what's the best card you pulled? Or what's your favorite card that you pulled? I'm really curious to... Now, that is a cool reprint. That is... Oof. I gotta get some of these for the GOAT format decks. Jeez. Gear Town. Mind Mole. That's another really good reprint. All right, guys, smash that like button. Comment down below what your favorite card pulled in this was, what you guys think of Ghosts from the Past as a set. Give me all your uh, your uh, opinions. I'd, I'd love to hear them. And the last card is... It's a Link. Oh, Sunvine. I seen the Link 4, and I was like... <laughs> Anyway, uh, I guess we could recap a little bit. Um, got a bunch of heretic stuff I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I would, uh, you know, I kind of want to, I kind of want to dive again into this set. I really think it'd be fun to probably get like a couple, um, booster displays. Got these two as well. I think it'd be pretty cool to get a couple of those, uh, booster displays and like have like a big opening. A big one with a bunch of these. 
Uh, I really just want to pull a ghost here, man. And, like, I, I I know that's, like, really cliche to say, Oh, everybody wants to pull a ghost ray, Garrett. Not like me. I'm just joking. Um, but, no, uh, I don't know. I've, uh, since I've started this video, or, sorry, started this video. Man, I can't talk. Uh, since I started this YouTube channel, it's really been less and less about the gameplay. But don't get me wrong, I, I love gameplay in all three of these games. Like, they're super fun games to play. But it's been more so about, like, the collecting aspect. I've really just been enjoying collecting certain cards. Um, now, obviously, like I said, if I pull, you know, more of these erratic cards like this, obviously I'm going to try and build that because it was one of my favorite decks. And these Ultras just look amazing. So, yeah, definitely doing that. But anyway, guys, tell me what you guys thought about this video. What did you guys think of Ghosts from the Past as a set? Um, probably going to do a poll on the Facebook here soon about what franchise has got the best content out right now as far as sealed product. What is the sensation? I know each one of them is popping in their own way. Like, people in Yu-Gi-Oh! are hype about this. People in Magic are hype about this. People in Pokemon are hype about this but i want to know what your guys's favorite is like what's your favorite right now are it, you know do you even play Yu -Gi -Oh? are you curious do you even play magic are you curious pokemon same thing are you curious come to this channel man you guys i, I want to introduce you to those things if you haven't been before and uh that's really what i'm trying to get at here is just uh create a community of uh people who like to collect and enjoy these card games um, because honestly, man, in the world that we're living in right now, uh, that's probably like the simplest thing I could do. Uh, so anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are already subscribed, hit that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you do hit subscribe, you should do the same thing. Go share this video. Have fun. Have a good night. Enjoy your time. Do whatever you need to do for the rest of the evening. We're done here. Goodbye.